You talk a lot about soluble fiber, quality proteins, and vegetables to get your vitamins and minerals. Can you, for our audience, expand upon the importance of all of the major components to a, a healthy diet? Mm -hmm. uh, there's several. So. Um Protein, absolutely critical. Every cell in your body is made out of protein. Your DNA are sequenced with proteins that are combined in three-member um, combinations. Um, if we do not have adequate proteins, then we cannot, we cannot have a cell structure. And so we are, we're confused about proteins in our country. We say beans are protein. We say uh, dairy products are proteins, mm -hmm. and we can combine pro, you know, we can bind two foods and make them into a complete protein, but what we have forgotten is that we have to have efficient proteins. We have to have something that is chemically viable that we can work with. You know, when we put something in our body, like if we put in, let's say, let's put in beans. We put beans in our body, which beans are good food, but they're not a protein. They have proteins in them. They have certain amino acids in them, but they don't have the complete set of amino acids. When we look at amino acids, it's like looking at an alphabet. Um, there are or 26 letters in an alphabet, and you have the vowels A, E, I, O, U, and Y, sometimes, and W. And we can take all these vowels and the rest of the consonants, and we can make hundreds of thousands, m many, many, many words out of those just 26 letters. What mm -hmm. if we remove the A and the E? We're going to miss a lot of words. A lot of words. A lot yeah. of words are gone. And so what we have to do is, in the protein amino acid library or alphabet, there are 19, and then there's 22, and we keep discovering new proteins all the time because we don't have all knowledge yet. And I don't think we ever will, but we have to keep learning. And so we have certain ones, we have eight, that are absolutely have to have essential amino acids. That if you don't have those, then you can't put together all the words. If we don't have those eight essential amino acids, acids, we have all these massive protein, protein molecules are very large, cumbersome molecules, and we don't have all of the amino acids to put together certain protein molecules. So what happens? They don't get put together. They just don't happen. And so you say, well, if I take my beans, and I know I'm missing certain things, certain amino acids, and I combine that with rice, then I'll have the other amino acids there together, and so then they will work together. But the problem is, is you have to remember these are all chemical reactions. And chemical reactions have to have catalysts to make things happen. We have to have enzymes present. We have to, oftentimes, we will have to go through 6, 7, 10, 15, 50 steps, 50 different little chemical reactions to get to the end product. And when we're talking about inefficient proteins, these are proteins that do not have all the amino acids present, or that's an incomplete protein, or an inefficient protein that are, are amino acids that are very hard for us to access and get to and be able mm -hmm. to utilize because we have to go through so many more chemical reactions to get to that place. Then, then we're in trouble because we will use tremendous amounts of energy to be able to make a protein work. It's like it's, oh, that's an interesting it's, way to it's, think about it. Yeah. yeah, it's like, you know, you could just go out to the store and you can buy a finished product. You can buy the dresser. You want a dresser for your room. Just go buy the dresser. It's done. It's really easy. Mm -hmm. Or you can buy all the lumber and you got to get all the little tools, you know, to get all the yeah. little curves and you got to get the mitering box so you can get all the little, you know, things to fit together. And you can still get a dresser, but it will take you a tremendous amount more effort. And it's the same thing that happens in the body with if you eat efficient proteins, of which there are only five eggs, meat, poultry, fish, and seafood. That's it. Those are the only ones at least we eat in our country. There are a few others in other countries. You can eat bugs. We don't mm -hmm. usually eat bugs here. <laughs> you can eat ox blood. They do that in Ethiopia, but we don't usually eat blood here. And so, but those are complete proteins also. And so what we do is we have so undermined our health by not eating these efficient proteins by eating substitute little ones over here that we have to work so hard to turn them into something. And we will go through, I say, you know, five, 10, yeah, you close the door, five, 10, 15, 20, 100 different chemical reactions. And what people don't understand is for every chemical reaction that happens, you have to have a certain amount of activation energy to put into that reaction. Chemical reactions, if you put all the little pieces all in the same area, 
there has to be something that's going to drive this reaction forward. So we have what we call the reactants. We're putting that into this, and then you're going to have some also catalysts and enzymes coming in too. And then shoot out a product at the end. That's how all chemical reactions happen. But you have to get a certain amount of activation energy to get this chemical reaction off the ground. And it has to, in chemistry, we have a little diagram that there's a hump that you have to get over the hump. And you have enough energy to get over the hump to make the reaction come through. Well, the more reactions that you have, the more energy that you need. You need it. Okay. It's classic. I talk to vegetarians all the time. They say, I get all my protein. I, you know, I'm combining my proteins. So it's like, you're going to be exhausted. And they all are. They're so tired. They're so tired. Oftentimes, I will have a vegetarian to, after just two weeks of just saying, you've got to just, if you, if you have a problem with, you know, you know, harming animals and killing animals, okay, I don't, I'm not, not going to make any comments about that. But you could at least eat an egg. An egg is, no, no, if not fertilized, it's not really a animal yet. And at least eat your eggs three times a day. They usually call me within two weeks and say, I cannot believe the energy I have. What have I been doing for the last 15 years? Because they finally mm, have efficient protein. Mm -hmm. It only takes one, two, maybe, chemical reactions to make this work instead of dozens and hundreds of chemical reactions. So you're not wasting your energy on trying to make a food usable. Hello everyone, Mike Hinman here. And if you happen to be watching this video anywhere besides our blog, we encourage you to head over there right now, leave a comment, share us on Facebook, give us a thumbs up or even a thumbs down. We're just happy to hear from you. And if you did like the content on the video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't done so already, go and visit Hinmans.com, get your free gift with additional tools and strategies that will help your child out. Last but not least, we do have a new book coming out shortly. You can get your free copy just just by sending us an email using info at Again, thanks so much from the Hinman Holistic Health Institute, where family health is made easy.